Welcome to the realm of intoxicating flavors and head-banging beer reviews. Welcome back to the Rare Beer Club. I'm your host, the Ginger Yeti. If you don't know what the Rare Beer Club is, it's a uh, beer subscription membership, and I get it every month. It's a gift to me that I get every Christmas, and I get two of these big bottles every month for the entire year. Super cool. Really enjoy it. It's always beers I'd never see anywhere else. Never be able to find anywhere else. And now, it's been about a month since I did the unboxing. I chose the other beer that was, um, I forget what it was. Snakes in a Barrel. I did that one down at a beer day with TK's house. Really good time with him. Go check that video out. Make sure you check his channel out. And this is the other beer that was in that box. It's the Gotland's Drika. Um, and this is from Jester King Brewery. And you know, the Rare Beer Club always comes with these little info pamphlets. I'm not going to read it all to you, but there are some things on here I do want to read. About the brewery here, nestled with the picturesque expanse of the Texas Hill Country, Jester King Brewery stands as a true embodiment of an authentic farmhouse brewery. Dedicated to the art of mixed culture and spontaneous fermentation brewing. Sounds good so far. Jeffrey Stuffings, one of the co-founders of Jester King, began his journey as a local home brewer, embarking on the creation of the brewery in the latter part of 2007. I didn't know they were that old. During the pivotal time, he concurrently lent his expertise to Austin Homebrew Supply, where he tirelessly honed both the recipes and the strategic blueprint that would shape the trajectory of Jester King Brewery. After planning for a year, Jeffrey invited his brother Michael to relocate to Austin and join him in laying the foundation for what would eventually become Jester King. Where is my next mark here? I can't see it. There we go. Gotland, Gotland's Drika, the indigenous beer of Gotland, Sweden's largest island, situated in the Baltic Sea between Sweden and Latvia, is akin to Finland's Sati. This unique beer is typically crafted in homes or farmhouses using family-based traditional recipes, resulting in distinct flavors. Despite Gotland's relatively small size, the interpretation of Gotland's Drika varies widely due to the local herbs, juniper berries, and twigs. Is there twigs in this beer? Availability of rye, oats, malted barley, and occasionally local honey. Jester King was the first to commercially brew a Gotland's Drika in the U.S., drawing inspiration from this legacy, the ingredients, and obscure style. Their version is brewed with three types of smoked malt, juniper berries, rye, sweet gale, hops, and Jester King's own mixed culture. The Jester King Gonzalandrika pours a deep straw color with a white pillowy head, offering a light, lightly smoky aroma complemented by honey, toffee, and melon notes. The juniper provides a lift balance. The juniper provides a lift, balancing sweet malt notes, and the sweet gale comes through as floral and aromatic. I'm not sure I know what sweet gale is. On the palate, the Jester King Gondra Gotland's Drika is smooth and well-balanced, allowing the smoked malts to mingle with the herbaceous sweet gale and juniper berries. Slightly venous qualities come through with the white grape and orchard fruit notes holding firm mid-palate and herbal bitterness, arriving toward the finish. The mixed cultures add a bit of farmhouse funk without being mouth-puckeringly sour. That sounds deliciously complex to me. Now on here, this paperwork, which probably knows better than Untapped, says that the style is a farmhouse ale with smoked malt, juniper, and Mauricia Gale. Untapped just calls it a smoked beer. I'm going to go along with the paperwork here and say they're more correct. Uh, serving temperature is about 50 to 55 degrees Fahrenheit. It is a warm, sweaty one here in Cleveland. I'm sweating. I don't know if you can see it, but it is definitely hot in here, even though I have the air conditioner running. It is not helping. It's just a hot summer day here. And you're supposed to use a snifter tube glass or tiku glass. That's like a stemless tulip glass. That should work fine. On to the beer, right? Let's check out this beer. Check out that cool looking label on that bottle. Gotland's Drika, Jester King. Bunch more reading to do. I'm sure you're tired of hearing me. Wow, there was a lot of, a lot of writing on this bottle. Let's just keep reading. I'm sure everybody's tuned out anyways. Trespasser, you come to steal from the bounty of this land. My conjured flame beckoned this earth from the depths of the sea and sparked a blazing oath to let none defile it. I shall bring a burning ruin upon you. When at last I have robbed you even of speech, as your eyes beg for mercy and lungs gasp for your last of breath, you will again be denied as you draw in only the choking smoke of your own smoldering flesh. 
Jester King is located in the beautiful Texas Hill Country on the outskirts of Austin. In addition to beer, wine, and food, our on-site experience offers lodging, event hosting, farm tours, and more. I need to go check Jester King out. Gotland's Drica. 6.4% alcohol. Ingredients. Texas Hill Country well water. Birchwood smoked malt. Malted barley. Beechwood smoked malted barley. Rye. Oak smoked malted wheat. Hops, juniper berries, sweet gale, mixed culture of brewer's yeast and native yeast and bacteria. Gotland's Drika, meaning drink of a good land, is believed to have been the beer of the Vikings. Our rendition of this ancient style is inspired by the traditional farmhouse ales once brewed on the island of Gotland off the coast of Sweden. Native yeast and bacteria from the Texas Hill Country impart a sense of place to this unfiltered, unpasteurized, and 100% bottle conditioned beer. Bottle conditioned. That means this thing's gonna blow up on me. I've been talking so much, I need a drink. Let's get there, get it open, see what it looks like, see what it smells like. Cool crown up there. Hopefully I don't destroy it. Try to remember to get a picture of it so I can put it up there. It had a nice hiss. I can see the foam slowly creeping up the bottleneck. A little bit of gun smoke there. Let's get it in the glass. Uh, when untapped, this gets a 3.61 with 6.2 thousand check-ins. Beer Advocate, it got a 82 good with 310 check-ins. It's got a nose on her. That smells fruity and funky. Yeah, that's like fruity, maybe a little bit of horse blanket. That horse blanket funk. And wild fruits. Not getting any juniper on there. As far as color goes, can't see through that. It's kind of a pale yellow. Uh, my SRMs, I'd probably give it about a five. Head was a nice, is a nice thick white, kind of white, almost white, eggshell white, dirty white head. That's not dissipating at all. Not even leaving any lacing on the glass. It's just sliding right off that glass. I've talked so much, you're probably tired of hearing me. Everybody's probably tuned out already, so I'm just going to take a drink of it. Cheers. Very effervescent. Oh, that's smoky. Way more smoky than I expected it to be, but it's not smoky. It's not as like, it's not on the level of all Alt Schenkerla beers, but it's a lot more smoky than I expected. Some nice fruitiness to it. There's some bitterness in there. This is super complex. Man, there's so much going on in there. Get that smokiness. There's some hot bitterness floating around in there. Some like juicy fruit berry kind of thing going on there. A little bit of juniper. I mean, this is wild. Of course, this is farmhouse, right? That is a mess of things in a good way. I mean, that's that's like like drinking uh Fruity, hoppy, slightly hoppy beer that you've mixed with just the slightest bit of, of, of juniper. It's almost got that like juniper gin kind of hint in there. But you're drinking this concoction while you're around a campfire. Because the smokiness is there, but it's almost... It hits you in waves. It's there, it's not, it's there, it's not. Like the smoke wafting around a campfire. Some nice like hoppy bitterness in there, but that goes away. You get this fruitiness, and the smokiness comes back. This beer is very complex. It's constantly changing. The flavors are just just running around in your mouth, and like one leads to another. I guess what I say the alcohol was six point four percent. Don't notice that at all. This is interesting.
man, this is different. It's just so complex. There's just so much going in there. It's fruity. It's smooth. It's smoky. It's hoppy. It, it's it's hard to describe this beer. Yeah, this is a little bit of sourness. I mean, almost on a line of tartness. It's not mouth puckering at all, like they say, but it does have some sour notes in there. This is just amazing. This is very interesting, very interesting beer. I'd give this a big horns up. This, this is absolutely worth the $20 I spent. This isn't for the faint of heart. If you like easy drinking beers, beers that are just one ingredient, simple, you don't want this. If you're into big, robust, complex, mouth-watering beers that you constantly have to think about while you're drinking to like figure out what all is going on because it's just such a crazy mix of flavors that all work well together and it's constantly changing, this is for you. This is really good. This is the Gotland's Drika. I mean, I'm not even sure what to say about it. Just so much going on there. Sweet fruit, sour fruit, smokiness, hot bitterness, and it all works well together. It's all constantly playing in your mouth, dancing around in your mouth, going from one flavor to another. It, it's really wild and really interesting. I mean, really, really nice beer, nice complex beer. This is a good beer. If you see it somewhere, buy it. If you get the Jester King Brewery, buy it. I mean, this is just a good beer. For $20, $25, whatever it was, a bottle, whatever it is, a bottle. I'd absolutely buy this again. Wish I had some people to share it with so they could try it, but I get to drink this all to myself. This is definitely a very adventurous beer, and as always, embrace the adventure.